turn it on. Connect in the battery. Receiver. Man, the camera's soaked. Uh oh, what happened to the boat? I don't know. Did it flip? It did a did a 360 circle. Is it okay? I don't know. It's not responding. Oh shit! I think the receiver battery flew off. Boat's dead? Yeah, I gotta go get it. Uh, I gotta get keys for this boat then. <laughs> Going back on the water? Do a startup from here. I mean, uh, Zero to startup. That sounds good. I guess? Yeah.
It has a reverse too? Not not this controller. It has a, it has a reverse, but it's not it's not gradual, it just kicks in. And it all it does is just you know spin the prop and because it's too fast. My last controller had um, had a you know gradual reverse. Worked really well, but this one doesn't. But I rarely need it. You don't need it anyway, yeah. I like about this controller that my last one didn't have is um, it doesn't when the battery runs out it it's gradually starts uh, reducing throttle and you see that it st starts slowing down my last one would just cut out and you have to go fish it out with a boat or whatever and that was annoying me a lot so that's how this weighs uh, this weighs about two two and a quarter pounds my last battery weighed uh, uh, three pounds and uh, I was able to uh, make this boat about six pounds lighter than my last one. And that, that helps handling a lot. It handles so much better than a heavy boat. Cool. So next thing I gotta do is uh, water cooling plates. One here and one here for this pack and try to draw some of this heat away and keep them cooler. That's it. Cool.